And we're back. Yeah. All right, looks like we have an even game when we came back. Yeah, a little hesitation on that up throw up there. What do you think about this stage for um, striping wise? I don't like it. Um, I don't like it for um, mining out. Like, I don't either. He needs the room to run around. Yeah, and this really, like, Peach can hold a, Peach can control a whole lot of the stage. Yeah. So, really, it's like, it just is yeah. only good for Peach. Yeah. Um, that's why you start to see, um, especially in this matchup, where Peach would rather go Fountain over Dreamland because yeah. Fox is gonna have just so much room to run around and uh, basically camper out, space her out. That was good, that was a good yeah, option, good. yeah. Fountain is actually kind of small, like, stage-wise. Yeah. It's just the ceiling that's kind yeah, of Yeah, the ceiling's high. Uh, Fox doesn't have as much killing power off the side as he would at the top, so Fountain is going to be good in that sense, because it's going to be about the size of Yoshi's, but, you know, the length, uh, height-wise. More than Dreamline, actually. It's a high ceiling, isn't it? Or is Dreamline higher? I think Dreamline's higher. Okay. It's not too much, though. No, they're, it's they're just a little bit. Yeah. But the sides are really small. Yeah, yeah. Which is more beneficial to Peach than Fox. Exactly. Honestly, yeah. Alright, so we got a one stock lead for 10 butts. Yeah. Um, He's just kind of trying to pick his spots, finding when. Finding yeah. when Mining Wealth's like not quite ready for it. He him. needs to be much more patient. He's just approaching and then getting punished for it. Staying within that down smash range and deciding to recover at the height where she's floating. Yeah. Um, it's, it's just matchup experience. I mean, it's this is why we have these weeklies. Yeah. <laughs> not much you can really do about that. I, I mean, crouch cancel the first hit. Yeah, and then you'll go the other way. But I mean, you're still off stage at that percent. He was at so. about 100 something. Too, so still would have gone up. Still would have been, would not have been fun. I want to see some up air juggles from. Uh, yeah. And, and that stuff. Yeah. All right. Um, solid three stock. Um, I don't know where he's gonna go for stage picks here, but hopefully um, it's gonna be a little something better. Where do you think? Uh, I think he's banning. Probably Pokemon. Like I would say that, but he likes Pokemon, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, but against Fox, I think he normally bans it. I'm not yeah, sure. I'm not so. sure what their stage pick is here. Oh, he's, he's going, going puff. puff. Okay. Okay. And Battlefield. Uh, I like the stage okay, yeah, that that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, Tenbutz never really was a fan of Battlefield, but because um, how the edge thing works, where if you're holding towards the stage, you won't grab it. Yeah, that actually yeah. messes Peach up a lot with their floats. But he basically, I was, I just told him like, well, learn how to not have that happen. He's like, okay, I kind of like Battlefield now. because of how big it is. You know, it's giant Yoshi. Oh, that almost broke the shield. Yeah. Ooh, ooh rest. Oh. Yeah, he wanted yeah, it. Yeah, he needed to face the other way. Good thing Peach doesn't have a rest punish. I think he should have gone for a stitch. Yeah, I would have pulled some turnips. Like at least, then... yeah, a couple. Yeah. There it is. Oh, there she is. See, he would have had it. Oh, get it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was nice. good. That yeah. stitch is almost out of airtime, though. That'll probably expire in the next throw. Maybe, like, right before. Oh, Ooh, okay. okay. Yep. Because he was so close. Yeah. And then, I guess, tossing him. Okay. Oh, yeah. The uh, player he does play against does play Jigglypuff, so he kind of has that done, but it is a ca very casual player who refuses to edge guard and stuff, <laughs> stuff like that. Um... So we'll see how we can use this. I mean, this is still a pretty hard matchup for Peach, but Tenbutz does have a lot of experience against multiple Yeah, and you, you have to know how to play the matchup exactly. to, for you, it to be bad for yeah, Peach. Yeah, it's the same when people pick Peach against me in tournament, against my ICs, and and I, you can tell just immediately they don't play Peach. There's two rest out of shields. Yeah. Or up smash out of shields. Yeah. Would have been good. Go for those rollouts. Why not? I respect that. Ooh. That was a dot eyes. Should get that. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Just bounce. Just gonna bounce. Off. Yeah, she leave up doesn't give a shit. Iron head. <laughs> Did she learn that? Probably. And okay. This is a good space back there. Yeah. But get a, get an up air or something. <laughs> See, yeah, whenever Ten Butts is on a platform, he down smashes. Yeah, every time. That's that's really one of the most predictable things about his peach. Um, is just too much down smash in neutral. Expect him, like, oh. my nail should know that, at this point, that Tenbutz is just going to be doing that so often. Um, and resting it. 
you can just rest it. Yeah, there it is. Oh, there that it was is. good. He got it that time. Maybe he wasn't doing it earlier because he was the peach was yep. so high percent. Possibly. That would make sense. Oh, could have been oh, another. That could have been another. So... Yeah. Can <laughs> you see a rising power? That never roll across a peach. Nah, ever. No, no <laughs> never roll across a peach. Especially ten bucks. Yeah, unless you're like Kirby, because his roll's actually pretty good, which is not <laughs> saying much. When you say someone's roll is pretty good, you know they're not a very good character. <laughs> because that's actually noteworthy. Yeah, like Kirby's best moves are his like back air roll and up tilt, <laughs> and they're all worse versions of other people's. <laughs> Mewtwo's roll is pretty godlike, though. Yeah, Mewtwo's roll is really good. Um, isn't Falcon's pretty uh, good? Like the IAS, IASA frames? What, what, Something what does like that, that stand for again? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, interrupt Pablo Sudan. Oh, oh, that was so close. Rest. Uh oh, okay. he could do it again. Oh, da oh rest, rest. He could totally oh, he get totally it. He totally could have just rested right there. I don't know if it would have killed, though. Uh, yeah. But also, true. like, whatever. It's Peach, right? But he will, yeah. <laughs> he was um, down smashing, so possibly the down DI could have messed him up a little bit. Oh, that's bit, true. But I don't know how the down, down DI would work at zero against rest. Ooh. Ooh he tried yeah, to crash yeah. cancel that. Rest. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He doesn't have any tech skill to spam and mess himself up. Yeah, that's actually true. <laughs> it like actually forces him to think. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like as soon as he learns um, how to double moonwalk on Falcon, because his Falcon's pretty good, but the decision like with Fox, Ooh. Was, he's got those rollouts. Mining <laughs> Elf's got the execution. He just needs to learn how to apply it better. Yeah, if he uh, he needs a rest. Yeah. That's really all you can hope for here. Ooh, almost ran out of jumps there. Oh, yeah, he rolled across. Yeah, he's just rolling right across Peach. Oh, again. Oh. Another roll. Oh, oh! Uh oh! Let's go, Get a Stitch oh. face! No. <laughs> Damn. Alright, well. Oh, Parasol finish! That's 1600 points. <laughs> oh my god, really? Yeah. That's amazing. It's only when the parasol's open at the end. Alright, there I it is. Uh, right, right there. I need to switch <laughs> to Peach for bonus mode. Got that parasol finish. Peach and then, and then he also like holds Y mode. at the end, so she says, oh, did I win? 